in the Netherlands, we all get a public transport card as a student. All students here, 700,000 of them have, have free public transport or leave it for a certain amount of time. Uh, that costs so much money at this moment that it would have been cheaper for the government already on short notice to all give them a private lease car. And that's something that everybody starts laughing when I tell it, but it's really the truth at this moment. It's just the disruption happened so fast in this demonetization that people really are still fixed, fixed in some dogmas. A traffic system, for instance, that's just one example. It only works because we are able to, every now and then, flexibly interpret the law. Uh, in the Netherlands, if you want to drive adequately, you have to at least flexibly interpret the law every now and then, once in a minute, even faster. If you drive in Istanbul, few times per minute. If you drive in Delhi, every two to three seconds, you have to flexibly interpret the law, otherwise you will not survive in traffic over there. And that's especially what we are at this moment also researching, because if an autonomous car or a driverless car doesn't every now and then flexibly interpret the law, it will not be able to drive through Amsterdam. I give some examples for that in, uh, in the summit. It will not be able to survive in, uh, in, in real life. And that's, that's a nice thing about artificial intelligence. How to make it real intelligence to also every now and then not follow the laws. That's an implicit nice question to ask. And this is happening in mobility. It's happening in organizations as well. It's happening everywhere in life. <laughs>